Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to work on the Fiora necklace to go with the bracelet that we made. So this was such a fun bracelet and you guys loved it. I, I so appreciate all the beautiful pictures you posted on Facebook and you're really enjoying making this. So here's the necklace to go with it. A little different, we have a little more open spaces, but um, I just love it both ways. I think it, it just was so much fun to make and by the time you're done, you will know cubic right angle weave like you've never known it before. <laughs> so I'm going to clear this off. We'll get a materials list going and we'll get started. So please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you really enjoy my videos, ring the bell so you get notified every time I upload. All right, so let's get a materials list. Okay, first thing we're going to need is a number of already completed Fiora bracelet components. And what I'll do is I will link this bracelet video as the very first thing in the description box under this video so that you can click on that go there and make all your components now the materials for the components are of course on that video so don't forget to look for all the materials list for that because this what we're doing here is we're going to be turning all these components into the necklace so we'll be creating the necklace and this video if you haven't seen it the bracelet video um, for demonstration purposes for doing all the cubic right angle weave, I use the bead reamer and size 8 seed beads, and it's so good for learning. So if you're having trouble with cubic right angle weave, watch that video, and I think it'll really be helpful. So remember, you'll need a certain amount of units. I think I used 15 of these components. I think I used 15 for my 17-inch necklace. Um, but you can use as many as you like, um, you know, to fit your necklace. You need a bunch of 11 O seed beads. You need just a few 8 O's, just eight of them. It's just for attaching this clasp. You'll need some three millimeter pearls, bicones, um, rondelles, whatever you like. If you want to do the, you know, this part, add pearls on or add another bead on that part. I just put it out here so the clasp would be here. Okay, and you'll need, if you want to use your bead reamer, I use it a little bit in constructing the necklace. You don't, it, it's not all that necessary, but you could use it. Size uh, 10 beading needle. I'm using 8 pound Fireline black satin. I have a stop bead and here's my clasp. I only had the one so here I put it out here. This clasp I will link where I purchased it in the description box below the video. I really really enjoy this clasp. It comes as a little set. Don't really like the other clasp in the set but to me it was worth it just to get this guy but I'll link it down below and you can take a look. All right I think that's everything so don't forget you're going to go back to this video and you're going to have all your components made so that you can construct the necklace. All right, see you in a few. Okay, let's make this into a necklace. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna attach our units with, right with cubic right angle weave units and we're just gonna do more at the top than we are at the bottom so that it makes the necklace curve. So if you wanted to make this a bracelet, you could certainly make th these two connection pieces the same size and it would stay straight. So you could make a bracelet with the openings, which I wish I had thought of earlier because I love that as well. So that, you know, you have a lot of options here. All right, so before we go on, here are some pieces. You will have thread left over um, after you finish your units. So if you want to do the pearls, bicones, um, fire polish, whatever, you, gold bead, <laughs> I've got a lot, a lot of suggestions here like I did right here, all you're going to do is move that thread you have left over. So it's coming out of these, so we, these beads right here. So if you notice, we have four beads that we can work with on the sides, and that's what we're going to work with putting on our, right ang our cubic right angle weave units. But the two in the center, you just, you want to make sure you're exiting one of them, like say right here, and then you're just going to pick up a pearl, bicone, whatever you like, and pop it right in. So no problem. You could do this now um, or you can do it after you put your necklace together to see if you, you know, really want to put them in. So, and also, you know, when you start doing this unit, you know, if it's super clear here, it's a little better. So I would probably suggest doing this after. That's what I did when I was playing with it. All right, so let's get some units sewn together. Okay, so we're going to sew a couple of units together. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to I'm going to thread my needle with a pretty long piece of thread and I'm going to work on connecting at the top for maybe three units 
And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to attach the bottom. And then I'll just go on and I, I'll keep doing it that way. You can attach the top and then attach the bottom, top, bottom, whatever you like. So I'm going to put this one aside. So I've threaded my needle with about, I did about six feet of thread. Put on a stoppy and leave enough of a tail to sew in. So we're going to be working with these beads right here. So the bottom bead here, and right now we're working with this top bead. So remember we have these four beads that we connected with the bracelet. We're just going to sew through this one. Put the thread on. I'm going to pick up three 11 O's, and I'm using a contrasting color to see if that's easier for you to see this. Exiting here. I'm going to sew through the other side of the bead I'm exiting. I'm going to rotate my piece and advance my needle through the next bead. So, I mean, you've got the mad skills now. Probably don't even need me, but we'll do it. <laughs> Pick up two beads. I'm going to sew through this one and this one. So here there's my little corner. Like that. I'm going to rotate again and sew through the next bead. Picking up two. I'm going to sew through this one and this one. Like that. It's another face of the cube on. And then I'm going to just sew, I'm going to rotate, of course, and sew through the next bead. So that's going to be that, see where the mine for, it's a gold one right there. That's on your piece. So we're just connecting to that piece, right? And then you have three beads left. The one I'm exiting, this one and this one, these are facing the wrong way, so <laughs> you can't go through those. So I'm exiting the gold one in, interior, in the interior. I'm going to sew through this one. I'm going to pick up a bead, and I'm going to sew back through this guy, and then the interior bead right there, to put the last face of the unit on. Now I want to go sew through the top bead, and then remember we have to attach these beads on the on this side, so going through the beads one at a time until I have come right back to where I started from. Just like that. So there you go. So let's add, we'll add one more unit on, just so just to get you going. So here, exiting here, picking up three, sewing through the other side of the bead I'm exiting, rotate, advance through the next bead. Pick up two, I'm going to sew through this one and this one, rotate, advance through the next bead. Up two, so through this one and this one. So go like a little faster now, like that. Rotate, advance through the next bead. So on my last face of this unit, so I have three beads: one, two, three. I want to sew through the top one. I want to add a bead right here. So through this one and this one. back through the top, and then you want to sew these guys together here, these, there, those two, and then one more, and now I am right back where I started from. So this is what I want you to do. So I want, I want three units on right now. So here's one, I'm counting this, and this is the unit, right? So this one, two, put one more on, and then we will connect to this piece. Okay, let's sew a couple of units together. So I have my three units on here, I'm counting here, one, two, three. So I wanna to connect to this one with the fourth one. So picking up a bead, I'm just gonna, and I'm gonna sew through the top bead of this unit, like so. Right, 
so here. And then I'm going to pick up another bead and I'm going to sew right back through the bead, the original bead my thread was coming out of. So that puts my fourth, the face of my fourth unit on. I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to rotate and sew through the next bead, just like we've been doing. So now I have three beads here. One, two, and three. So we want to put a bead right here. Picking up a bead. I'm going to sew through this one, like that. So that's added another face of the unit on. So I'm going to sew, I'm exiting here. I'm going to sew through this one and so right here this one and this one, so sew through these two. I'm going to rotate and advance my needle, so through this one, like that. So you notice I have three beads again right here. I have one, two, and three. I'm going to pick up a bead. I'm exiting here. I'm just going to sew through this one. Add a bead right there. And then I'm going to sew back through this one and this one. And then what I have here, okay, just like that, I'm going to rotate and I'm going to sew through the next bead. Okay, so what I have here is a unit, a face of a unit inside that I don't need to add any beads to. I have one, so starting at one, two, this gold one, three and four, but they're not connected, so we're just going to connect all those beads. So I'm exiting here. I'm going to sew through this one. This one. This guy and this guy. Like that. Now I have all my units connected. I'm going to sew back up through this bead and across the top of this one. And all I have my four units on now. So if you notice, they're all connected. There aren't any threads showing. If you miss something and some, you know, or not thread showing, there aren't any spaces, you know, where it hasn't been sewn together, just make sure of that. Okay, so just get to this point and then we'll continue. Okay, I've got my four units on. So one, two, three, four. I'm exiting up here. I just want to get to the bead on this side, right here, so I can put another, you know, connect another um, component. So I'm just going to work my way through the beads at the top, you know, in right angles. So exiting here, sewing through this one, and then this one. And this one, this one, this one, you can do two at a time or one, but you're just keeping everything at right angles, following the thread path here, here. So right now I'm exiting at this, this top bead right here. You want to go through this one like that. And then I'm going to work my way around these beads on the side. One, two, to line could be exiting this one, three. Because I want to exit in this direction, right? So I want to put on another unit here. So all you're going to do at this point is add another unit. So here we'll go through one real quick. Picking up three. Putting those on. Rotate. Advance. Picking up two. Sewing through this one and this one. Rotate. Advance. Picking up two. Sewing through this one and this one. Rotate, and remember you're advancing, but it's through that one inside there, like that. 
And then you have three beads, the one I'm exiting, and these two. So, so through this one. Picking up a bead, sewing through this one, and then that interior bead right there. To put on our last face of our unit, sewing through the top bead. And then you want to attach all of these guys. Those two, these two, turning my piece over. So I come through that original place where I started from. And then you're going to add your two more units on, so one, two, three, and then you're going to do your connecting unit to the next piece. Like that. So you're just going to do that. I Like I said, I did it with three, three or four units, and then I did the same thing, same exact thing on the bottom, and instead, but instead of connecting with four units, I did five units. So I added four units on, starting here, right, starting right here, added four, one, two, three, four, and then I did my fifth unit was my connection, where on the top I did three units and my connection was four. So the bottom is going to be, you're going to add four units on, and your connecting unit is going to be number five. All right, so I think you can catch it, you know, go from there um, and uh, get it all done. And when you're done, come on back and we'll finish up. Okay, we're back. So I thought I'd get you started on the bottom. So the bottom is exactly the same as the top, only you're adding one more unit on before you connect. So where we added three units on here, one, two, three, and then we connected by filling in those beads, and then we ended up with four units. We're going to add four units on here and then connect with the fifth unit. That's going to make it longer here and it's going to make it curve. So I just move this guy out of the way. I'm exiting this bottom bead. I'm going to use the gold beads now. So picking up three, exiting here, just sew through the other side of the bead I'm exiting, like that. I'm going to rotate, and then I'm just going up the next bead. Now I know it's hard to see, but you know you've done this. Just go straight up like that. It's right there. Now I'm going to pick up two. I'm going to use the bead I'm exiting, this bead and the bead I'm exiting. So sew so through this one and this one. Rotate and advance. Pick up two. I'm going to add to these two. So sewing through this one and then the one I'm exiting. Rotate, advance. So I have my three beads now, one, two, and three. I need to put one here. So I'm just gonna sew through this top bead. I'm gonna pick up a bead and sew through the bottom bead and the side bead. Hold on a minute, sorry about that. My thread got caught, there we go. Like that, so then I have that unit on. Now I just want to sew through the top. And then of course, you want to sew all those four beads together at the end. So, one, two, through these two, through these two. Just sort of rotating around one more time to get to the front like that, and whoops, there we go. You're gonna get all twisted around as it gets longer, and there you go, you've got your first unit on. So you're gonna add three more, that's gonna give you four units on the bottom, and then we're gonna make the fifth unit the connection. So I'll get my three more done, I'll have four units on the bottom, and then come back, and I'll connect the other side with Okay, it. we're back, so we're gonna connect these, this um, piece to this unit, let me pull in really tight. So I have my four units on, one, two, three, four, or if you want to count from here, one, two, 
three, four. I'm going to pick up a bead. Exiting up here, just going to sew through this one. I'm going to it. I'm going to pick up another bead, and I'm going to sew through this one. I have the first face on, so I'm just going to hold it like this. I just want to make sure you can see where I'm going. Let me just move this out of the way. I'm exiting right here. I'm just going to advance my needle here. This is hard to film this part. It's not hard to do. It's just very difficult to film. All right, so see where I'm exiting. So I'm exiting. Let me just point from the front. I'm exiting this bead. I want to come through this one on the unit on the other side, this one right here, but you know, from the back. So here I'm going to pick up a bead and I'm going to sew through this bead. So now you'll just be turning your unit around and such to get through there, but for you to see what I'm doing, um, I kind of just have to be a little bit like a contortionist here, so like that going to pull through. You'll see when the bead sits on where it is. Okay, so see that? That's what you want. So here I've added this bead, so I have four beads now. Now I'm exiting here. I'm just going to sew through the white one, this one, and then this one. Like that. So that interior unit is now on. I'm just going to turn my piece over like this. Now do you see that I have three beads on? One, two, and three. So I'm exiting this bottom bead. I just want to advance just like usual, like that. Pick up a bead. So through this one, back through this one and this one. Now I have that unit on. Now going to turn and I just have four beads to sew together right here so these are for me these two white ones and these two gold ones so just going to advance and then sew around these two these two I'm going to go back through these this one and this one then I'm going to make a turn and go through this bead. And then all I'm going to do is continue sewing through the beads till I get to the side again to this bead right here. So you want to be exiting this bead so you can put another part on. And then the top one, of course, you want coming, whoops, down, coming this way. And you want to add your units on there. All right, so I hope you could see that. It's going to be much easier for you to see it in person and do it than it was for me to film it. So get that done and then come on back and we'll continue. Okay, we're almost ready to put on the clasp. However, I wanted to give you an option for your ending. So I ran out of chitons and I really needed one more unit um, to make it the perfect collar for me. So what I did instead was I just added, added um, cubic right angle weave units on until I had a piece that was long enough to extend my necklace and then I added the clasp to it here. So I used five units here and five here. So just like we've been doing all along, four here, remember, and you did four here and five here. I'm just doing an even number on both ends here for the ending. So however many units you need to lengthen your piece, put that many units on it. It may be six, it may be five, it may be three. Um, so here I have it done here. All right, so you're going to put your units on here and units on here, and then we'll come back after you do that, and I'll close them up with you, and then we'll put the clasp on. Back for just a second. So if you don't want to add this on and you just want to put your clasp on, you're just going to put your clasp on in the same place that you added these, you know, these extensions on. So you would start here and here, or you could add a short extension just to, you know, to sort of finish it off, whatever you like, but I just wanted to mention that. Okay. Seen a few. Okay, let's sew these two. Let's put you know put the cubic right angle weave units right here. I'm just gonna hold that out of my way. Exiting right here, 
just going to sew up through this bead. You can put it on your bead ring if you like. I'm going to pick up three of my 11 O's. I'm going to sew through the other side of the bead. I'm exiting like that. I'm going to rotate and sew through the next bead, just like we've been doing. Picking up two, I'm going to sew through this one and the one I'm exiting. Put another face on like that. I'm going to just rotate my piece, actually turning my piece over now, and advancing like that. Picking up two, sewing through this one and this one. Like that. Rotate. Get those in the right place. There we go. Rotate. Advance. Through this one. Picking up a bead these two, back through this one, and then you're going to sew through all the beads here, through there, and then right back <laughs> where you started from. Here we go, like that. So now I have My unit on and all I want to do at this point is I want to connect these two and we'll do that in the next clip. Okay, let's connect them because remember we have four units this way so you want four units this way. We have one, two, we have three on. So picking up a bead, exiting here, just sew through this one. Let your bead reamer help you if, you, if need be. I put mine on and then back through this one. Rotate. Make sure you can see through this one. Now here's that tricky corner again. So when I hold it this way, the bead, I'm exiting this one out of the back. So this it's going to be this bead and then see this one, the one that's directly on the other side of it. Pop it out here. So this one and let me make sure you can see it and this one right here. So I'm just going to come through the back. This is that weird one again. And I'm going to sew through that bead right there. Like that. And then I'm going to sew through this guy and then this one. I know it's a little hard to see, but you'll see it much better when you're doing it. So I'm going to have my unit on in the inside, right there. I'm going to rotate my piece. Whoops. Okay, so bead reamer fell off. And I have three beads right here. One, two, three. Just going to advance. I'm going to sew through this one, back through this one, and, th and this one, this one, and this one, like that. Rotate, sew through here, and I'm just going to sew these together. Sew through this one, this one, this one, and this one, back through this one and it's your sewn together. Now, if you're having trouble with me using the 11 O's, seeing what I'm doing, because I'm, you know, I'm going a little bit faster now, just go back to the other video, to the, um, the bracelet video, and that's where it's, you know, it's so clear on the bracelet, because I use the 8 O's. So you can, oh, anytime you need to do that, just go back to that video and, and use that video to help you through the corners. Okay, let's get the clasp on. 
So I've threaded my needle with a couple feet of thread. Stop bead, tail to sew in. I'm going to insert my needle right here at the last seed bead. And that line over there. So right here. Now I'm going to pick up an 8 -0. You can do a pearl bicone. Doesn't matter. I'm just going to come through one of the holes on my clasp. So this has two holes on the inside. Like that. Now I'm just going to turn it over. I'm going to pick up three eightos, and I think the eightos really work well here. You just want it nice and secure. See if three fit. So you want to fill this little channel up with eightos or pearl or whatever will fit there. So three, let's see how that fits. Let's see. Straighten out, you guys. And then I'm going to pick up another 8 0. And I'm going to, before I put it on, I'm going to turn my piece back over to this to the front because you want this bead to go through this bead right here. So the front part of the cubes here, or the, um, yeah, the cubic right angle weave pieces. So just like that. Now I'm going to take my piece and I'm going to sew through this bead right here. So I'm just turning the piece a little bit to get to the other side. Okay, so like that. So here I've come through this side bead and I'm going to sew through the same bead on this side of the cubic right angle weave units. And I'm going to pick up an 8-0. I'm going to sew through the hole. So I'm doing the same thing on this side that I did on the other side. Like that. Now I'm going to sew through these guys. So the three beads in here. Don't worry about if it's loose. Just make sure it sits. Eventually it's going to have to sit tight. You know, we're going to sew in the threads and all that. So I've gone through the three beads. I'm going to go through that hole on this side, just the hole. And then I'm going to pick up another 8-0 and I'm going to go back through. I'm going to go through this one. So we're just mimicking on this side what we did on the other side. So now that it, now it looks the same on both sides, but what we want to do is turn this side over. So through this 11-0, I'm going to flip my piece over again to the front. I'm going to sew through this one. So this is that original bead that we were coming out of, right? And then I'm going to go up through this 8-0 and the hole. Like that. Turn it over. I'm going to go through these three guys here. Back down the hole. Down this 8 0, across here. I know we're doing a lot of moving around. I'm going to twist a little bit, get back through this side, and so on, through this one again. Okay, and then up through this one. You got it, going back through the hole. To tighten that up, see how that when you go when you go a few, through it a few times, it tightens it up. Here I'm, I'm gonna flip it over again. Go back through this one or these three. Let me grab this tail thread. Okay, back down this one and the eight o on the back. So you see what I'm doing? I'm just going around and around just to tighten it up. And, and the more I do it, the more it tightens up. And then I'm going to go this way. And then at this point, you can um, sew your threads in. Just make sure you pull everybody. and Everything's tight and sits nicely. See how nice that's sitting now? So you just want to make sure you do that. And the 8-0s work out much better. This side I did 11-0s. The 8-0s work out much better than the 11-0s for this kind of chunky clasp. So you'll have to decide which clasp works out better for you. All right, and you can, if you want, put a pearl in there if you're into the pearl part, but that's exactly how you want it to look. 
and then you're going to sew your threads in and then we'll come back and finish up. Okay, we're back and we're done. And I just love the way it came out. I think it looks so pretty with the bracelet. I did a little uh, styling for you to show you how I would wear it. I, I think this is the most casual little necklace. You can even wear it dressy, but I think it goes great with a jean jacket and a tank top or a button down shirt. That's how I'm going to wear it. So here you go. Here's your little set. I, I mean, I guess we'll come up with a pair of earrings and possibly a ring. Uh, but for now, I hope you really enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.